RTV6 is following up to a story we first told you about last August. Testing at Geist Reservoir is once again showing high and possibly unsafe levels of E. coli. People living nearby are concerned and they want the Hamilton County Health Department to warn the public. RTV6's Stephanie Wade looks into the issue and what the county is doing about it. A test sample taken two weeks ago shows unsatisfactory levels of E. coli here in the Geist Reservoir. We were here back in August when levels were high then as well. Now we are asking the county health department at what point should people be worried? Even today, people were already taking their boats out on the water. And that traffic will only increase as the weather gets warmer. Everyone wants to be out there using it as much as possible, but we want to know that it's uh, the water quality is safe. And according to a recent test, water sampling at Geist showed 648 colony forming units of E. coli. EPA guidelines suggest anything higher than 235 is not safe for body contact. Does 648 concern you? 648 would tell me that I should wash my hands, take a shower after I've recreated in the waters. The Hamilton County Environmental Health Director says many strands of E. coli bacteria are not actually harmful to humans. But even so, these neighbors want them to issue a health advisory to inform the public of this. I would like the health department to notify people of the water quality. The health advisory that includes the facts is readily available and, and referenceable by the public. The department says these new signs they recently posted at the end of last year and into the beginning of this year at 17 different locations throughout the lake serve as that warning. They can actually take out their smartphone, actually just by lining it up. I get a website and I can actually go to our county website and I can view the data for any of the sampling that has occurred out here at this particular site. They take monthly recreational water samples across the county and post them to their website. This way, people will now be able to see those results right from their phone. Why won't you declare a health advisory for this issue? Because this type of an issue, it's an ongoing continuous advisory and that advisory is to be smart, be informed. So be sure to scan and the code and check before deciding to enter the water. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. Thank you, Stephanie. And officials say sewage overflow runoff from fields and farms, animals like geese and deer can all impact the water quality and vary day to day. We will provide a link at the bottom of this story where you can find water sampling results and not just Geist, but other waterways throughout Hamilton County.